long. Take a break from the important things you're doing and talk about psychopaths with cabin fever. After all, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here. One of my favorite horror movies of all time is The Shining. It's based on the Stephen King classic and I am totally obsessed with it. Every Halloween, gotta get my fix. Now if you haven't seen it, I won't give the end away, but this family is hired to look over a hotel that's closed for the winter. They're isolated and shut indoors and the father character, Jack, slowly goes insane as the days pass and ultimately some crazy stuff happens. So Jack's descent into madness while being shut in is popularly described as cabin fever. But is this a real phenomenon? Phenomenon, or is it just a compelling plot device for horror movies? According to scientists, it's a little bit of both. Cabin fever was first used to describe the early US settlers who would spend long winters snowed into their log cabins. It referred to the state of restlessness, irritability, and depression that was brought on while they were trapped inside. Cabin fever itself, though, is not classified as a real disorder, but being trapped inside can definitely take a toll on a person psychologically, as is the case with a condition aptly named SAD, or Seasonal Affective Disorder. Those who suffer from sad have the typical symptoms of depression, like low energy, irritability, fatigue, and sleeping a lot. The difference is that sad is brought on by the winter months when the days are shorter and there's not as much light. So in that sense, cabin fever is a real thing. It's a relatively common condition and doctors believe it's caused by a lack of sunlight. That said, there are no documented cases of people becoming psychotic or violent after being shut indoors for a long time, so no need to worry about your family members pulling in X on you this winter. Probably. Here's Johnny! But what about the fact that the family in The Shining was isolated? It wasn't just the fact that they were stuck indoors, but they were all alone. Miles and miles from civilization or anyone to talk to but each other. We do know that isolation in the form of solitary confinement drives people crazy. There's even a lawsuit against a California prison right now claiming that confining prisoners is a form of cruel and unusual punishment. At Pelican Bay, there are about 80 prisoners who have been in solitary confinement for over 20 years. An inmate who was put in short-term solitary confinement wrote for ABC that the worst part was the screaming, the sounds of my fellow inmates losing their minds. Scientists have found that confinement can lead to a myriad of psychological effects like obsessive ruminations, confused and broken thought processes, insomnia, irrational anger, hallucinations, and violent fantasies. Now that sounds a lot more like the Jack that we all know and love, doesn't it? So peeps, let us know on Twitter at DNews what horror movie you'd like us to delve into next. I hope you're all having a haunted Halloween. Have fun and stay safe out there tonight. We'll see you tomorrow with more DNews updates.